Okay, now to the part of the show we've been waiting on all week. A major milestone today for a Mississippi TV icon, Bert Case. He's seen it all, done it all. 50 years on the air in the Jackson market, from the biggest stories of the century to some of the funniest. This week we sat down with the 16 WAPT TV legend. My first job in broadcasting, where I got paid, was to take an amplifier with a turntable on top of it out to a drive-in on Washington Street in Vicksburg, Johnny's Drive-In, plug it into a phone line, and sit out there and play the top 40 records from 10 p.m. to midnight. Number one, he's been here for a long time. and You know the media business. It's tough to, to survive for 50 years. I was the first news director here and the first anchor here. And that was 1971. Forever. I can't remember not seeing him, actually. He's, he's a great guy. There's hardly a day that goes by that somebody doesn't say something to me about Governor Kirk Fordyce threatening to, quote, whip my ass uh, for asking him about what it felt like to go to Europe with his childhood sweetheart while he left his wife of 44 years at home. Uh, naturally, he, he didn't take kindly to that question. Of these are a couple of the uh, Fordyce era ones, which were, it's hard to believe. It seems like yesterday I drew them, but uh, I was just a kid when I drew those a long time ago. And even the governor liked that one. He had told me five years prior to that that he had told his wife to leave and she wouldn't leave. And I, and I said, Governor, do you realize you're telling me something and you didn't say it was off the record? I can use that. And he said, I don't give a damn what you do with it. Walked off. And that's when I decided I was going to do the story. I just like his personality. So whatever he does, I like. You think being a convicted felon has helped you or hurt you? <laughs> I mean, man, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I mean, me being a convicted felon, that's a, that's a reflection of my mistakes. Would you debate Chris McDaniel on WAPT. Well, first of all, I'm not running to be a member of, of a debate team. I'm running for a vacancy that's going to exist in the United States Senate. So you won't debate him? <laughs> I said I'm not running to be a member of the debate team. Governor, do you regret uh, your pardons at the end no. of your administration? I, I don't regret the pardons. Well, Ben, I, you know, I've covered every major story in Mississippi either as a news director or reporter or producer uh, for 50 years. And so, you know, a lot of stories stand out in my mind as, as being important. But uh, no, nothing like Camille and no, nothing like Fordyce. Those, those are the two most memorable things I've done. There's just no doubt about it. And, I, and I'm also really well known for having fought off a bulldog. A pit bull was attacking me one time when I was covering a story out in the Queens section of Jackson. We'd gone out there, a little girl had gotten shot in her house. I was out there with Megan, as a matter of fact. We were both there at the same time. And I turned around and looked back and saw this pit bull charging at Bert. And this dog comes charging down. And uh, I'd seen the sign behind, beware of dog. <laughs> and here I am out there and I have nothing to protect myself with. But a reporter's notebook, <laughs> that's all I had. Bert had his notebook out like it was some sort of sword trying to fend the dog off. I didn't waste a second. I went running for the car. I was probably in there in .2 seconds. And I, I started swinging it at it, telling the dog to go home. I kept swatting at him like this. And while the camera was off of him, he charged me, and I just did this like this, back and forth. And that spiraled. It was wire on the one I had. That spiral going across his nose is what made him go away. And, and little, you know, I thought I had done everything wrong in, in doing that and fighting that dog off. But I found out they use that video to teach people the right thing to do if a dog charges you. Charge back, <laughs> you know, or yell at it. Don't, don't try to outrun it because you can't do it. The dog will catch you every time. But also, too, he's got that distinctive voice and that distinctive personality. What did you think about his voice? I love his voice. That's one of the great things about him. His voice is something. I remember one time he came up and I was doing a book signing and he had his dark glasses on and his hat so that nobody would recognize him. And then he started speaking and I'm like, Bert, 
everybody's gonna know who you are as soon as you open your mouth. It's because he's just he's just so unique. The zippity doo dah parade takes a route through the Jackson suburb of Fondren. We had heard at Channel 16 News that it had been infiltrated by drag queens. It turns out that Chief Sweet Potato Queen Jill Connor Brown doesn't give a zippity doo dah about that. This is how I've always talked. <laughs> You ask anybody who's known me since those days, uh, I, uh, you know, I, uh, I, th I think you read, you read news a little differently than you, you, you do normal conversation. I, I think it's important to read news very carefully and very articulately and to pronounce your words well. I have old people tell me all the time, you're the only one I can understand on television. And I always remember that. Bart Case, Bart Case, Bart Case, 16 WAPT News, Flowood. Here's the way it happened. I was walking across the parking lot at a Walmart out on Lakeland Drive. And this woman yelled at me and she said, is your name Bird Cage? And I said, no, ma'am. My name is Bird Case. And she said, well, if you'd say it like that on television, people wouldn't think you're saying Bird Cage. I said, you know, I'll try that. And I tried it. And people liked it. They laughed about it. They they remembered it and they imitated it. And every time I'd go in Walmart, you know, people would walk by and go, Bird Case. Bird Case, W A P T, Channel 16 News. It's every time I talk to, to kids, <laughs> uh, I, I tell them. You know, they want to know about this business and what's what's the, the most important part of this business and how do you go about doing this business. I tell them to remember something out of the Bible. Ask and ye shall receive. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. It absolutely works every time. There's no failure with that message. If you follow what that message says, you'll get a news story. Do you have anything to say to him for celebrating this milestone in his career? He's a great man and he deserves it. He definitely deserves it, Bird Case. <laughs> I want to say congratulations <laughs> for thank everything so that much. you've done. Thank you. And here's to 50 more. I want to say thanks to uh, Ben Hart, our news director, and Stuart Kellogg, our general manager, for making it possible for me to be here for the 50th anniversary of having done it, Tammy. And you've done so much, Bert. Everyone we've talked to, <laughs> they, they tell us they appreciate everything that you've done in TV news and for them, and we just appreciate you so much here. All I, oh, thank you. All, all I had to do was follow the wise old Greek's admonition. Uh, Pete Costas <laughs> is his name. He's up in his 90s now, still alive, still well. Pete said, Make your avocation your vocation. Wow. And you'll wow. never work a day in your life. <laughs> and that's what I've done. Well, look who we have here. The <laughs> whole oh, <my laughs> team coming in here. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. There is my wife, Mary. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I we have to get the cake to make sure <laughs> to commemorate such a big, a big achievement. Everybody clearly knows I got it. <laughs> I want to drop it. What kind of an icon, Bert, that you have become for the, the state of Mississippi? And so we're so proud of you and so excited to celebrate this milestone with you. Thank you so much. Bill Hart, you're the director. Thank you. Congratulations, Bert. Thank you very much, Timmy. It means a lot for us to have you here. It means a lot for mm -hmm. you to say that. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs>